May we all share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in our with us now forevermore. Amen. You are blessed. You can go in peace. Emanuela, please come. How much did we realize from the offering today? 400. 400? Yes. Only? Yes. Hey, what is wrong with these church people? Why is it that they don't like giving? Do they want me to, you know, start playing one or two games for them to start giving? Pastor, no, don't do it like that. Just teach them how to give. Teach them the importance of giving and the disadvantages of not giving. That's a very good point. I think that's what I would do. It's alright, you can go. Thank you. Children of God, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Today, I'll be talking about giving. I want people to understand the meaning and the importance of giving because it's very important. Remember, the Bible says, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the one that receiveth. When you want to receive, you have to give. Now let me tell you something. Imagine if someone receives a miracle and the person is here to testify. Now you can give on behalf of that person's miracle to tap from that miracle. Right on, Pastor. It's a principle of giving. Say, I hear you. I hear you, sir. I want you to learn something. When you want to receive heavy, you must give heavily. Right on, Pastor. You cannot be asking God for one million naira. And you'll be giving an offering of hundred naira. No, make it heavy. At least make an offering of 100,000. See, it takes sacrifice. When you give and you don't feel it, that means the weight is not enough. See, Israel was fighting against their enemy. But their enemy paid a sacrifice on their gate. The king sacrificed his only son at their gate and Israelite lost the battle. That is the power of sacrifice. Even God has no choice but to turn his eyes away and Israelites lost that fight. Another thing you should learn is when you see your man of God, when he has preached and preached and preached until he's tired, you should sow a seed into the life of the man of God. Give unto the man of God so that I can recuperate and have the strength again to keep preaching. Say amen. Amen. See, if at a time that your offering is always 50 naira. Stop it. Increase your offering from 50 naira to 200 naira. Amen? Amen. You cannot be stingy for the Lord and expect the Lord to do something for you. If you're in this church and God blessed you and you don't come here to give God his one tenth, that means you are robbing God. And if you rob God, man will rob you. Do you want man to rob you? No! So you must never forget to give God his one tenth. And that being said, we are going straight to our offering. But before that, I need you people to be aware that we are taking four offerings today. The number one offering is our normal offering. Number two offering is for our building project. The number three offering is for the less privileged. Number four is for the seed of healing. Even if you're okay and you feel that you are fine, you should still come and sow the seed of healing to prevent yourself from getting sick. It is called prevention offering. Sister Kenneth, come and lead us in praise songs while we take our offering. Amen! Amen! Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Let's rise up on our feet with our offering. You are God. You are not just ego. You are not just God. Start coming out. Start giving our friend. You are God. You are not just ego. You are not just God. You are a great God. Yes. There is Number two. Makes me come into your presence. My helper.
Hey, Manuela, come, 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 come. How much did we realize from the offering today? It's 800,000. <laughs> yes! I told you, if you teach them how to give, they will give. Yes, in fact, that's what we're going to be teaching for the whole season. In fact, throughout this year, we'll be teaching giving. <laughs> eh, hey, that's our church corporate account. I will also want to be signatory to that account so that I can be helping the poor. Children of God, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I have a testimony. Last week, Sunday, I prayed for a brother in this church after service. Guess what? As I'm talking to you right now, he's in USA. Wait, 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 wait. That's not just it. Now, he, he, he has decided to appreciate God for what he has done for him. Now he has sent 3 million naira to this church. <laughs> last Sunday. You can tap into this blessing. Come up and give your offering to tap into this blessing. The bigger you give, the bigger you get. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening, brethren. I'm actually here to testify the goodness of God upon my life and what God uses our pastor here to do for me. Sometime last year, I bought a land and then I never knew this land was a dispute. So there was a problem. I came to our pastor and I explained to him and our pastor gave me some prayers and I did all that which he asked me to do. So as I speak to you right now, the land has been given back to me. Oh, Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I made a pledge to this church. I said, God, if you can be able to answer my prayers, I will come back to this altar and before the congregation and give an offering of two million naira. Oh, hallelujah! So far, okay. For the past two months, the total offering is eight million. Naira. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Remember that man that his wife gave birth to twins, he gave the church two million. Naira. Oh, that is wonderful. Uh, hey, that man that just finished his building project that promised to send the church three oh, million. Naira. Okay, he has sent the money. What about that brother that went to USA that promised that when he come back, he's going to send us three million? He's back. Has he sent a three million? Yes, naira? Yes, yes. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Hey, so what you're going to do now is give me the sum total of everything. I bought it. Wait, oh, Pastor, you used the church money to buy a car for yourself. No, na Emanuela, don't take it that way. I actually bought this car for the work of God. How? I bought it for the faster spread of the gospel so that I can be able to reach the children of God far and wide. Hmm. Okay, oh. Um, Pastor, please, there's something I want to tell you. Um, my last term school fee has not been paid and the school has been disturbing and Uncle Mark said he does not have money yet. So I don't know if the church will be able to help me pay my last term school fees. Maybe this term Uncle Mark will look for money. Hey! What did I just hear you say? I said I want the church to help me. No, 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 hold it there, hold it there. You mean I should use the money from the church for your personal, for your selfish intention? No, this is blasphemy. 
In fact, go inside there and pray for forgiveness. Go and ask God for forgiveness. Eh? Let me go and sanctify my hearing. You've just defied my hearing. Eh? Lord, please have mercy on her. Forgive her. She's just a child. Huh? She, 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 she doesn't understand. Lord, forgive her. Good day, everybody. You know I'm the treasurer and accountant of this church. I want to ask you a question. There's something our pastor is doing that I don't understand. Is it good to withdraw money from church account for your personal use? Because I don't understand. Our pastor here has been withdrawing money from the church account and now he has bought a car. Latest model and this suit is wearing. I don't know him with it. I will show it from the church account that he bought this suit. So please, I want to ask, is it good? Well, um, pastor, you have just heard from Emanuela about the church account that you've been withdrawing money for your personal use. What do you, how do you, what is your explanation about this? I greet you, my elders. I know um, withdrawing money um, from the church post for my personal use is not a good thing. So I cannot intentionally do that. The truth is that the car I bought, I didn't buy it so that I can satisfy myself. It's for the work of God. Okay, let me give you an example. Ma, imagine you called me at 12 midnight that your child is sick for me to come and take her to the hospital. Will you be patient to be waiting for me to be trekking to your house? Who knows, your child might end up dying. Go for it. You see? Okay, sir. Imagine you called me for prayers that I should come and pray for you in your house. And I don't have a car. Would you be happy that I trekked from my house to come and pray for you? Of course, no. Ahem. Wouldn't you be happy to see your man of God dress neat? Wouldn't you be proud of me as your pastor? Is it not right? You are right. Even that car I bought, if someone in this church is in the need of money, I can sell the car and help the person. So, it's for the work of God. Is there anything wrong with what I have done? My elders, <coughs> for me, I found out that our pastor did not do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Because it's for the interest of the church. Uh -huh. We all know that, even in this country, there are pastors who are using private jets. So I don't see any reason why our pastor uh, uh, bought a car is a bad thing. And like what he has said, in case somebody is, uh, uh, he, he, he is sick or he need money, he can even sell the car and help the person. Because this is God's work. Well, um, Emanuela, we have listened to the pastor and he has explained to us. And uh, I think what he said is true. Because personally, I would not want to associate myself with a pastor that looked that look tattered. The pastor that trek, it will seem like our God is not working in our church. So when you see him dress well, he will attract other members to come. Emanuela, I think uh, the pastor has not done anything wrong. Uh, please. You will work together with him. I think, um, elders, that is it. Thank you very much, my elders. That is why you must open your heart to giving. Amen? Amen. All right. Before our offering, let us give our testimonies. For those of you coming to give your testimony, should come out and line up this way. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I want to thank God for His goodness and mercies, for long life and prosperity that He has given us today. Yesterday was my birthday. And to all of us in this church. And he has been using this man of God to bless our lives. Church, is it not true? It is true. So today, our pastor is going to bless the life of some people. 
Heard your prayers because our pastor here <laughs> wants you to take this car and sell it. It's about 20 million naira. Use it and set to your family issue. Hey, hello! He said it's for the work of God. Elders, is it not true? That's not all, oh. <laughs> Madam, please come out. This woman is the matron of this orphanage close to us here. And as you all know, I'm the treasurer and accountant of this church. The money in the church account now is 4 million naira. And our pastor has asked me to sign 4 million naira check <laughs> and give it to this woman to take care of the orphanage. <laughs> For the work of the Lord. Elders, is it not true? That's not all, though. And Uncle Pluchet, please come out. This blue shirt you are wearing is the shirt you have been wearing since you started coming to this church. But our pastor here has decided to change your life by giving you this suit that he's putting on right now. <laughs> so, Elder, please help our pastor to remove his suit and give it to this young man. <laughs> remove his shirt, too. <laughs> Okay, the singlet is old one. Leave the singlet. <laughs> Thanks for watching that very funny Mackenzie comedy. Please share this video. Share this video, please.